this video demonstrates how to perform or calculate price rate of change in MS Excel. Rate of change is a simple technical analysis indicator that shows price difference between which is percentage difference between today's price and price at end periods ago or end days ago. And rate of change uh, normally used on a 14 day time period. The 14 day period uh, rate of change. If you use 12 day period and other days can also be used but preferably it is a 14 day period. So we calculate rate of change using an equation that is close price of today minus close price of end days ago divided by close price of end days ago. So we look at uh, how to calculate this using a 14 day period. So here we have observations the 14th day. So here equals to open bracket choose the current day price uh, the close of a today's price minus close of end day ago previous price that is a 14 days before price and divided by 14 day price and if you want to put convert this into a percentage just simply multiply this with a 100 so you have a negative of 0.85 percent decrease in the price why we are using brackets here is excel follows precedence of operators in the sense division is calculated first and uh, division and multiplications are calculated first and additions and subtractions are calculated next so here we want to calculate the subtraction first so to make excel understand this we put these calculations within the brackets so any values or any calculation that is within the brackets or performed first and followed by calculations external to the brackets. So here we have done for a first day then simply drag this down to second. So if you observe C16 minus C3 divided by C3 now here our C3 is second day right. So 15 days and previous 14 days will be our second. So as you move on Excel also automatically moves the calculation time periods. So here now it is C17 minus C14 by C4 by C4 into 100. See, once you calculated this drag this down or simply go for a auto fill. So you have auto fill. The calculations has been done for all the this. The next is here go to insert after selecting your column D where your rate of change is there. So select or click insert and go to line charts. Click a line chart. And here is your ROC rate of change chart. So this shows here is a zero and below zero are a negative values that is negative returns and above is above zero is positive returns. In the sense the prices is high that is increase in comparing with the previous price when you have a positive that is or a line over zero and even line below zero is your negative values. Now how is that you are going to interpret uh, this outcome and uh, when, uh, when is that you are going to make a buy or a sell decision. It is suggested that when the trend line is moving in a positive side it is an upward trend. So here you can see upward trend. So in the upward trend, 
it is suggested to buy a stock right and once it reaches a peak and then it is falling down from a peak that is a high point to low so this is suggested as a sell signal so we can say this means that when the indicator peaks and begins to descend descend is to come down it is considered as a sell signal and the opposite is so whenever you are uh, you want to make a buy decision so in, at this point so you can consider there is a downfall so even though it is above zero it is a sell signal so here you have a buy signal this is how we interpret uh, rate of change and in addition to rate of change you may uh, you may fix your uh, rate of percentage expected return then you can uh, make a sell signal at when your ROC reaches that point say suppose you have fixed a 5% return on this so when it reaches a 5% so you can make a sell